Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here though, hello. This is going to be another one of my really informal kind of lookbooks. It's another one of my thrifted lookbooks. Um, I do it this way just because it's a lot easier for me, but definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys would prefer for me to maybe try to make it a little bit more. I don't like to say professional, but put together like using my other camera and everything, but that's just so much harder. But let's just get right on into this first kind of comfy going out like it's like a brunch outfit here is the first outfit super casual comfy this like i said is something i would wear like going out like kind of like mid early morning afternoon type thing for like grabbing something to eat with friends and stuff and this is definitely for the change of the season where it's still a little bit chillier but it's still getting pretty warm so I went with this really nice kind of like open cardigan this is who is this by again this is a Cynthia Rowley 100% cashmere really nice comfy little thing it's super soft um, I got this from savers I don't remember how much I paid for it but so this part is the thrifted part this tank top, actually now that I think about it, I feel like I thrifted this tank top too, but now I'm not sure. If not, I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I think I thrifted it. These pants that I'm wearing, really nice ripped up jeans. Love these, obsessed with these, are actually from Fashion Nova. So they are kind of high-waisted, kind of. They're high-waisted jeans, and then they just have really nice kind of distressing all on them, and then they're actually cut off on the bottom down by the ankles as well. If I go like this, maybe you can kind of see it. So they have this really nice kind of like distressing going on, and then, like I said, on the ankles, they do have a really nice cutoff, and then here are the slip-ons that I would wear. I think they're from Charlotte Russe. It says on the inside, but I got these from Charlotte Russe like last year. Still love them, they're in like great condition still obsessed and they're super comfortable. I would actually pair it with this purse as well. So this is just by Catherine Malandrino. It's just this black purse. It's supposed to look like one of the older versions of a Chanel purse. So it's got this really nice kind of like interlocked chain to it. You can wear it over the shoulder like this on the shoulder or longer crossbody. So yeah, here is the purse a little bit better. Again, it's by Catherine Malandrino, if you can kind of see it on there, but I'm obsessed with this purse. I got this from Marshalls. Like I said, you can kind of wear it crossbody. I never really wear it crossbody because I feel like it looks really, it's it's really weird, like right on my hip, just in a weird spot. So I either just wear it just like this over the shoulder and long, which is usually how I just wear it because it's just easier this way. Lastly, because we are coming on time to start wearing sunglasses, I would pair it with these. They do have, I feel like, they do have a teeny bit of a blue cast to it, which might not be showing up in the camera, but I love these. These are by, is it Key? Key Australia? But I picked these up at a Marshalls. I can't remember how much I paid for these, probably like $12, but I love these. So since it's about that time to start wearing sunglasses again, I would definitely pair it with these overall look how is it how are we so i love this it's super comfy i actually would want to leave my house right now wow the wind if it wasn't about to all the way storm right now i would definitely leave the house right now just to go anywhere like this so now that i'm feeling like i look kind of crazy standing in my room like this with sunglasses fully dressed and everything on to outfit numero dos all right so now for outfit number two so this is a little bit more of a cutesy but still definitely comfortable look again probably for just like getting food with someone just this really nice oversized sweater that's thrifted and then down on into the shoes so here is this huge oversized sweater which I love I could belt it but I feel like it would kind of take away I want this to be kind of a more like simple plain outfit so it's this really comfortable like oversized like huge fitting sweater basically this is thrifted it's by the brand I think it was John and Jen or Jen and John I have this and then underneath I do have on like a, um, a dress so I'm not totally crazy. It does have a dress on underneath. It's like one of those shaper dresses that I got from like Nordstrom, uh, Russian Rack, or like uh, Marshalls or something. I think I got it from a Marshalls. It's a really, really thick material. It's not like see-through at all. So I actually can get away with wearing this as just a dress, this like underneath dress. I have that underneath there so I'm not like being too crazy revealing or anything because this is a knit sweater. I love this. I love the like zipper detail that it has in the front right there. I'm obsessed with it and it's super comfortable so it's like you can't really go wrong. Paired with it though I do have on these shoes that that really nice loose side heel from Fashion Nova. 
that I am obsessed with. How am I obsessed with everything though? Definitely pair this with the same purse because it just goes perfectly. So again, the nice the silver matches and everything. So same black purse by Catherine Malandrino. And I think this is just a really nice put together look. I really think this is cute for like even going out on a date, walking around looking all cute. So you're like comfy, but you're still like, hi, cute. I feel like these are always kind of cringy at the angles that I get, but let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy these thrifted lookbooks that I do every so often. I'm going to try to do more, and I say this every time. This is another one of my makeup, at least, that I have on for today for this outfit. Um, I should have already posted the Get Ready With Me for this makeup. I was just using the ColourPop palette, the Yes Please palette. It's beautifulness, and then I have ColourPop colors on my lips as well. I've got pillows. If you want to know exactly how I got this look and what exactly I'm using for products, check out that video. I just have on this shirt that I think I got at a TJ Maxx, either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, um, but I love it. It has this like really cool slit in it. It's actually a pretty deep slit, and then it's really long. It like covers, you know, the front. It covers your bootay if you wanna wear leggings with it. I really like it, and it does have like this mock neck to it, sleeveless. As we can see, this necklace that I have on, I don't know why that is to the front, but this necklace I got from, I think, Burlington Coat Factory in Delaware because that one's great. Um, but so yeah, that's just the top. I always have my Fitbit on, it's super obnoxious. And then I have this bracelet, I've never mentioned it really, but this bracelet is by um, an Alaska Native artist, obviously from Alaska because I was born there. Hair ties and this weird scrunchy hair tie if anyone cared. But for the thrifted part, it is these shorts. I think I got them from a Goodwill. This is so awkward to show, I know it is. But I got them from, I think I got them from a Goodwill. They are just American Eagle brand. I love them, they're super short, so don't mind that. But we can kind of get away with it because the shirt kind of covers a lot of it in this outfit, but these are the shorts. I love them, they're so cute. They're a little bit tighter at the top, but like at, they're not at the same time. They're like super, roomy at the same time they just look pretty tight these heeled booties that i got from urbanog.com a while ago and i really love these i love getting my shoes from urban og because they're expensive they're kind of hit hit or miss with some of their stuff um, as far as quality goes but these are actually really really nice so just like that and then there's the shoes I'm like out of breath and super hot right now so I guess this is the best lighting we're gonna get this color on my lips is looking real crazy right now Ooh, what was that does it maybe look not as bad now the lighting's a little different so makeup just like this I have this necklace on that I think where did I even get this from it's either from Fashion Nova or honestly from Burlington Coat Factory or Walmart I just like to get cheap jewelry from there because it's cheap inexpensive is the better word to use it's inexpensive cost friendly budget friendly yeah the other necklace i made myself we're not gonna pay attention to my nail that i just used to point that out with and then i'm also wearing some bracelets that i made myself so for the outfit i will give you guys kind of like a pan down of the outfit we've got this cute little flowy shirt which is actually like a crop top type shirt and then we have a little gray plain skirt very plain and then we've got some shoes so that is the entire look I like that. Do you guys like when I do that? I feel it's kind of difficult not for me. This is the look basically from there. I gotta suck in a little bit. All right. Basically this whole thing for the most part is pretty thrifted. This um, is actually a top. I have like three of these in like different colors. I love this top. It's from TJ Maxx. I got it on super sale. I think it was like $8 or something like that. It might have even been a little cheaper. I do have on like a like sports bra underneath. It's just a black sports bra because it is such a loose flowy top just in case you know for some extra coverage this skirt is thrifted i think it's actually forever 21 but i'm not really sure let me look oh it's massimo brand from the Targ, the Targe. but this was thrifted i can't remember how much i paid for it but it's just a really simple skirt that i had to keep pulling down my backpack which I love. I think I showed this in a more recent haul. Oh wow, that's crazy. You can't even see panty lines in the skirt. So I love this backpack. It's Wilson's leather. Someone suggested to me though to like stain the entire bag because it does have like spots on it. Let's see if it'll kind of show. It's a little bit like stainy, like water stainedish kind of. Someone did suggest to me to like just stain 
the whole thing so that it's just one color. So I actually might do that. That was a great suggestion, whoever that was. Thank you. And then my shoes, I'm just wearing these gray all-star sneakers. They're just the low top ones. I don't know. I really like these ones though because they have like a double tongue to it. I just think it's cute. These were thrifted. So crazy, thrifted. I think I actually got these from the kids section. So I only paid like maybe like Five, definitely less than $10 for these because they were in the kids section, so cool. So that is it for this lookbook. I'm still in look number two. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the three videos. I know, three videos, three outfits. I know this was a lot quicker of a video. I do like putting out like shorter videos sometimes. It's a nice change from my hour long videos. Hope you guys enjoy these lookbooks. I definitely am gonna have them keep coming because I do like to put on my outfits and put new outfits together that I didn't really think of before. I like trying a lot of new things, especially with my thrifted finds that are sometimes a try anyways <laughs> to see if they're even going to work. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoy my lookbooks. They're going to keep coming regardless though and I think there's a bug in my window. So I'm going to take care of that. But like I've said before, there's no longer going to be vlogs on this channel. So if you guys are interested in keeping up with me and keeping up with my house and the things I do decoration wise with my house and everything, just knowing what I'm doing with my life in general. Definitely subscribe to my vlog channel. I will include it in the video and in the description box somewhere below so you guys can get directed to the right spot with my vlog channel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.